Hello, everybody. It's five o'clock Pacific time, Thursday night, month of July. You know what that means. It's time for Cooking with Liz 2021. It is our, whoops, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's our summer of snacks, summer of snacks. I'm not doing, there are no whole meals in Cooking with Liz 2021. We're doing snacks, we're doing snacks. And um, so, and my sous chef, uh, Hooper Dolan, He's here with me. He uh, he enjoys snacks. You know, dogs are big in the snack category. So um, nice to see everyone. Uh, let me refresh your memory on what we've accomplished so far during the summer of snacks. Okay. Night one, we did the deviled eggs with the michelada. And, you know, I was listening to like a fancy cooking show the other day, and they did a whole segment on all the different kinds of micheladas. So, um, so I felt good that we were ahead of the curve on the michelada thing. Okay, then last week we did the pea pesto with ranch water. The pea pesto crostini was delish. The ranch water, once I remember to put the water in, also delish. And tonight we are doing bacon wrapped jalapeno poppers with with the paloma a delicious paloma so in case you don't know what a paloma is by the way okay here's a picture the perfect paloma cocktail this is the most popular cocktail in uh in mexico so no matter what you think about your margaritas your micheladas it's the palomas people anyway so what are we making today we're making those bacon wrapped poppers i'm a little bit ahead of you they're in the oven already but you're going to get to see them come out and we'll all get to watch them cool together to be i used like how to make the best bacon wrapped jalapeno poppers at home and what i liked about this recipe is there's no breading there's no dough there's no if they're not fried it's the the cheeses uh, with some spices in the jalapenos, wrapped in the bacon, with the sticks, so the whole thing stays together. We'll see how that worked. And then they just go into the oven and they bake, and that's what they look like. So I want to show you, okay, I know you know this, but I, they said get big jalapenos. You want, you want an impressive jalapeno. So and they said try to make them all the same size. I did fail in that second part because I just had them delivered and they did, they were not all the same size. So I've got some big ones and some little ones. Anyway, that's a big one. Then let me show you, hold on. Again, I'm working without a net here, no crutches. This is what they look like when I made them, right before I cooked them. So there you go. Okay, let's see. You see what we have going on here? So we've got the jalapeno inside is um cream cheese and cheddar cheese and i think i know one of you said you made this and they kind of exploded because you had the cheeses all like overflowing so i was very careful not to put too much cheese in to have the cheese be level with the jalapeno that's what i thought make it level with the jalapeno liz because that makes sense and then you use the bacon to keep it all together and then you put the stick in there was also a reminder that i'm supposed to uh, soak the stick in water so that it doesn't singe. I did not do that, but thank you for the reminder because that is a super good idea. I did not bother to do that. So here is what this looks like before we cook. And hold on. It's nice to see so many of you here already. Let's hear it for poppers. Um, yeah, Sharon says got to buy some grapefruit juice. So the grapefruit juice, I'm going to make the, the Paloma while our poppers are cooling um, for some good time management. Um, the grapefruit juice is gonna mix very well. Remember last week, last week I went with the bottle of Clooney, so there's still plenty of that left here. So um, we've got, we've got the uh, tequila standing by. Fresh grapefruit juice standing by. Doesn't that just look beautiful? It does. And I went, you know, I went with this super fancy club soda, soda, premium, just like it says, premium club soda. Though I still have plenty of that Topo Chico left from last week. I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying the Topo Chico. So, okay, let me check my timer to see where we are on the poppers. Okay, it says two more minutes, but I'm going to actually look 
Want to see me look in the oven? Hold on. Okay. All these things are a little harder on like a leg and a half, you know? <gasps> oh, okay. Well, can you see any of that? Can you see that in there? Yeah, you can see that. You can see that big one in the center. There's been some spillage. There's been some unwrappage. Um, the bacon needs to stay wrapped around the jalapeno. That's why you have the pick. Um, it seems like there's been some unwrappage. But again, it's just us. And I don't know. I'm going to be eating all of these slowly over the next few days. So I don't really care. I can just wrap it up. So, okay. So let's, uh, here's what I'm going to do now. Oh, no, wait. I can't move the camera yet because I want you to see this, them coming out of the oven. So hold on, I'm going to do, let's see. The drink also calls for a little simple sugar syrup. So I made that before you got here. That's super easy. You know how I learned to make this? I mean, it's pretty easy. Oh, it's time for the bombers. I'm going to quit talking about how I made simple sugar. It's sugar and water, people. I know you know how to do it. Okay. So I'm going to, here we go. Now, okay, these are not pretty, but they're delicious. Okay. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Can you see those? Okay. I'm going to put those there. Okay. I'm going to turn this thing off. Okay. Now, now's the all important camera move. Uh, which again, on a leg and a half, can be tricky. Beth thought that was the smoke alarm. Thank you for your confidence. Yes, it often is. It, it often is. So I don't blame you for. I don't blame you one bit for thinking that, Beth. So here we go. Karen is drooling. Me too. And you wouldn't believe how delicious it smells, because the bacon is. You know, how can you not love the smell of bacon? Okay. Oh wait, I'm doing this wrong. All right, pivot. Yes, thank you. That's my, my signature move now. Okay, all right. You have no idea how amazing it is that I can perform this movement. Here we go. All right, so now, okay, now we're talking. I'm gonna move this over a little bit. Oh, look at the sous chef just left the kitchen. Not sure, not sure what his problem is. Okay, so let me show you this a little bit close up again. Okay, so that's what those look like. They're on parchment paper, so they look kind of ugly now. Well, the one that broke open looks delicious but ugly. So anyway, so here's what we're going to do. With that in the foreground, uh, hang on. I'm going to make the Paloma while these cool. It said, and you know what else I'm going to remember to do? I'm going to remember to... Uh, to turn off the oven. And is the bacon cooked? Yes, Julie, it is. The It's not super duper crispy. I did do a test batch. So I decided this was the proper level for me. The um, It says you can cook them another five minutes. I'm not going to do that. These are done. Plus, you know, 10 more minutes. So, okay, I'm remembering to turn the oven off. And now I'm pivoting, sliding <laughs> sideways to the bar over here. Okay, so we have these cooling. Hang on, I'm gonna put these somewhere where you can watch them cool. All right. Okay. Not that it's that dramatic to watch something cool, but I want you to know. Oh, look, there's Hoop. See, Hoop's just, you know, helping as much as he can. Thanks, man. Thanks for your help. Um, okay, sliding sideways now, holding on with both hands. Now we're going to make the plum. Okay. Let's see. We got this going. We got this. All right. So this is super awkward. Okay. I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to, you know what I'm doing? Time for a chair. Time for a chair. Cause that way even I'll be able to see you. Okay. So much better, right? And I can put my credits uh, in the sink. Okay, so here we go. Now we have poppers cooling and we are making the perfect Paloma cocktail. So it's one and a half shots of tequila. So here we go. Oh, and you know what? 
It's supposed to be in a tall cocktail glass. I do not own any tall cocktail glasses, but I had a tall wine glass in a nice bell shape, so I'm going with this. This is just, this is what I'm going with. Um, but the next time, the short cocktail glasses last week, I don't have the tall ones this week, I might just get a couple of each. I think that would probably be enough, just a couple of each. So, okay. Mix the grapefruit juice, tequila, and sugar syrup until well mixed. So I'm going to just put this all in here. So it says one and a half shots of tequila. Ooh, ooh, essence of Clooney. Remember, this was tasty last week. And remember, I don't have a shot glass or a measuring, so I'm just going with the sake cup. So here we go, one and a half. I may make it a little bit lighter than that, but there you go. Okay, so that's the, remember this is the tequila that is George Clooney and uh, Mr. Cindy Crawford. So I got that. Juice of half a ruby grapefruit. Well, who knows how much that would be. So I am, I'm eyeballing that people, I'm just confessing right now. How much juice would half a grapefruit be? I think it's gonna be like, I think it's gonna be like that. That's, that's what I think. Okay, then half a shot of sugar syrup. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do, we got the sugar syrup right here. Boom, boom, boom. Half a shot. Okay, we got that. Homemade sugar syrup. Oh, I started to say, Lee and son Colin, when we did the cocktail party at the end of our holiday cocktail party, he's the one that showed me that, Liz, come on, you can do this. So that goes in there sugar syrup and then it says about 75 milliliters of club soda well who knows what that is I think that's oh you know what I'm supposed to fill the glass with ice pour this in well first mix this right you thought I was gonna forget to mix it no the idea is to mix this up really well put this over ice so you know what we've got here what we've always got the Edna Dolan uh, silver ice bucket, which is freshly, freshly polished silver ice bucket. We're filling this up. It said that the rim of salt is optional. I went with it. I was feeling optional today. Okay, so we've got that. So pour over a tall glass filled with ice and top up with the soda water. So this is going to be ready to go but here we go we're pouring this can you see that let me just put this in the center of the shot you're so far away i can't even okay and i'm just gonna top it up can, can't you just feel the poppers cooling i can it smells so good okay let's, let's, let's go this way to do this is not the one i use for that here we go here we go. Does anyone ever buy this fancy club soda? I don't usually. Fever tree, but I heard it was really good, so I'm topping up. Ah, ooh la la. I'm gonna do a little stirring there. And then it says, you could also add a squirt of lime juice. So I'm gonna do that because as I said, feeling very optional today. So, uh, 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 uh. Got the lines here ready to go. Squirt of lime juice. Yeah. Okay. And then maybe another little, another little stir. So, my sister Monica already posted in the group earlier this week that she thought the Paloma was the perfect combination with the poppers. So, I think we're about to find out. I can see why this is the most popular drink in Mexico. Okay, so here we go. The moment of truth. Hasn't really had 10 minutes to cool. Let's see if you guys have told me anything that uh, did my, did we compete for the ice bucket? I don't know how I ended up with the ice bucket. There was just, it was a mad scramble there at a certain point. Marsha, you've used Fever Tree Tonic when you're splurging on the pricey gin. Yeah, so I feel like George Clooney tequila deserves the good stuff. Um, 
Okay, so here we go. What am I going to do? I had, I thought I had a plate out here, but I think I removed it in the pre-production phase. Okay. Where did the nice glass plate go? I do not know. Okay. All right. So here we go. Kind of, okay, so now you see these. I have got the tongs at the ready. I'm going to pick up the two best ones because that's what I want you to see. This one looks pretty good to me, and this one looks pretty good. Okay. So there we go. Hold on. Now you know what I think I'm going to do? Now I'm going to turn this whole operation around again so that... <coughs> okay, slowly I turn. Oh, wait. I have the uncooked ones over there on the other camera position. Okay, got to move that. Got to move that. Okay. Now that's on top of the dog food. Okay. All right. This is going to be better for the eating and the tasting, I think, is if I'm facing the camera, but you can see all the good stuff behind me. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. What do we got going on here? So let's, here's the Paloma. Okay. Okay. What do you think? I think they look pretty good. You know, um, oh, and look at that. Look at how nice it looks behind me with the, the bottle of Clooney and this. I keep pointing this way because it's backwards. Sorry. Okay, there. The bottle of Clooney, the silver tray. Uh, let's see. All right. Oh, wait, now I just lost my whole camera picture. Oh, what did I do? Okay, here we go. So this is the first popper that I'm popping. I hope it's cool enough. Mm. She made a point in this recipe of saying the sticks are really helpful for the eating. And so far, I would have to agree with that. Wow. Do you like poppers as much as I do? Mmm. Mmm. Wow. You know, Julie, I know you were worried about the doneness of the bacon. It's crispier than it looks. Because they said, here was the key. The recipe said, the recipe, which I read, I read the whole thing, said, don't buy that thick cut bacon. Get the thin cut bacon so it cooks more, more fully. Okay, now, okay, now I'm going to try another style of eating a popper. The way you might if you didn't have the sticks in it. I'm going to hold it up by the step. First, I'm going to have some Paloma. Marcia, do you actually uh, pretend, pretend you have a podcast when cooking dinner? Yeah, I think we all should. It's been a long, hard road around here. I have to entertain myself somehow. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. Mm -mm -mm. Popping by hand. These are unbelievably delicious, and I can't even tell you how easy they were to make. I'm going to go back to the recipe in a second. Whew, this one's a little hot. The recipe did suggest in some of them, you leave some seeds in if you want a little extra kick. So some of these have the seeds in. I think I just got one with the seed. Mm -mm -mm. You could totally make these so easily and fast. And luckily, because of, you know, the unpleasantness, I have a lot of surgical gloves around. So you can wear the surgical gloves while you're cutting the jalapenos and cleaning out all of the seeds. So no worries about that during current times. Mmm. Mmm. Beth, Hooper deserves some bacon. I think you're right. There is some leftover bacon. Though he doesn't appear to be doing much to help here. Okay. So I just ate two. You witnessed me enjoying them. 
I'm washing it down with a little more Paloma. Mm, yummy. Okay, now I'm just going to look at the recipe one more second, and then we're going to wrap this whole thing up. Because I didn't mention to you what goes inside the jalapenos, because I had done that all before you got here. But just as a reminder, oh shoot, I didn't print out that page. Anyway, it was it was cream cheese, uh, cheddar cheese shredded, um, garlic salt, and onion powder. I think it was onion powder. Let me look in the Spice Museum. Onion powder. Where did that go? I don't know where that went. But anyway, so that was the one thing that I had to buy, whatever the onion powder thing was, because I eat a lot of onions, so I don't normally need the powder. Um, so so that's it. So that's pretty much bacon-wrapped poppers, jalapeno poppers, you know. So we went from this to this to... To this. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat another as soon as I finish wrapping this up. So anyway, so that that was summer of snacks. You know, part of the point of summer of snacks is it should be easy and fun and uh something that you love to eat that's delicious. So there you go. Th those are the poppers. Now next week the I am making um Ina's cheese puffs. My college roommate really encouraged me to make Ina's cheese puffs. So it'll be a little more formal than what I've been making so far in the summer of snacks. Because the cheese, this was more like heating up. Of course, I baked that, but that's like a pastry and some more, some more cheese, of course, because it can't be a snack without cheese. So um, I have not decided what drink goes with the cheese puff. Probably something a little bit fancier. So if you have suggestions, um, just you can put them right here in this chat. What is the what is the good drink, either mocktail or cocktail, with just a nice Ina Garden Barefoot Contessa cheese puff? I am um, I'm open to any suggestions. So so there you go. I'm enjoying the summer of snacks. I am. Uh, it's Oh, I didn't even mention, did you notice I'm wearing my finale shirt? Because, you know, last year I wore the finale shirt in the third episode of every week, which was the finale. But this year, because there's only one episode every week, every episode is a finale. And I just figured that out. So uh, so that's why I'm back in the finale shirt. Ooh, Beth says Prosecco would be that. Rosé, Vodka Gimlet, Susan. Yes, vodka. I don't think I've ever had a vodka gimlet. Okay, we might have multiple cocktails <laughs> next week um, because why not? Uh, hashtag summer snacks. Hashtag cooking with Liz. Hashtag try to get beyond the unpleasantness. I'm almost there. Crawling myself out uh, out from um, underneath uh, my unpleasantness. So there you go. Sangria and cheese. Maybe some kind of wine cooler with the cheese puffs. You guys have a million ideas. I really do appreciate it. It's so much fun just to like get psyched to do this for you. So anyway, oh, there's Adrian. Adrian says it will be worth it. I'll enjoy my test batch. Okay, Adrian, I'm taking your word for it. Of course, it's the combination of it's Ina and it's you. And, uh, you know, it doesn't look that hard, a little more ambitious than what I did. So tune in uh, next Thursday. 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern for, let's just call them Adrian's Cheese Puffs and a, uh, a cocktail and or mocktail uh, to be named at a later date. Maybe I'll announce what the drink is on this week's show. So be sure to listen to the podcast. Uh, comes out Tuesday at noon Pacific time. This week is our Olympic show. So it's kind of, it's kind of going to be a party. So, okay. You know my motto. Hold on. I didn't wear this apron today because I thought I could just hold it up because I like to close every show just saying peace and sauce. Thank you for coming.